Known as Hollywood's ultimate anti-hero, Danny Trejo has appeared in over 138 films over the span of his acting career. Through the years, Trejo has earned multiple awards for his brilliant performances and has even been inducted into the Texas Film Hall of Fame. After accidentally landing his first ever role for a fee of $320 per year, Trejo has come a pretty long way and is now considered to be a legend in the film industry. In this video, we're taking a look at the top 10 Danny Trejo movies of all time. I wasn't gonna kill him. I was gonna shoot him in the neck, stop him from saying all those stupid things. Number 10, Inferno. And my people say that if you save a man's life, your souls are locked together forever. What do you get when you put Jean-Claude Van Damme and Danny Trejo together? One of the most iconic action comedy flicks of all time. Inferno is the story of Eddie Lomax, played by Van Damme, a soldier who just wants to put an end to his life, but finds a purpose to live after a bunch of thugs steal his motorbike and almost beat him to death. Trejo plays the role of Lomax's friend, Johnny Sixtoes, who is there for Eddie every step of the way. Hey! Name your first kid after me! With his powerful dialogue delivery and comedic timing, Trejo is a treat to witness on screen, helping his friend find the will to live again. Despite not having gained a lot of positive reviews from the critics, Inferno has gone on to achieve the status of a cult classic that's jam-packed with action sequences and hilarious one-liners. Yo, when you get to town, head straight for the diner. Some Rhonda's apple pie will put a smile on your face. Number 9, Badass. You know what, I don't hear too good. I've messed up my hearing at a Santana concert in 74. Step in here so I can hear you, I can't. Danny Trejo takes center stage in the 2012 action film, Badass, where he plays the role of Frank Vega, a Vietnam War veteran whose friend, Klondike, played by Harrison Page, is murdered. In a series of events, Vega discovers that the police is doing nothing to solve his friend's murder, leading him to take matters into his own hands. Ah, where is he? <laughs> the film actually takes inspiration from real life and is loosely based on the AC bus transit fight video, where two men are seen in a physical fight on a bus in Oakland, California. While Trejo is about 68 years old in the film, his age definitely doesn't hold him back. The actor perfectly embodies the anti-hero who should not be messed with, with the final showdown between him and the film's ultimate hero, Panther, played by Charles S. Dutton, being one of the most enjoyable moments in the whole film. Badass has been dubbed as an action classic with a role that allows Trejo to show more acting range than he ever has before. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> See, that was my good ass. Okay, 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 okay. Number eight, Bubble Boy. You didn't get out of that bubble room to play it safe, did you? You're right. Go for it. Known as one of the most experimental films that Trejo has ever chosen to be a part of, Bubble Boy stars Jake Gyllenhaal as Jimmy Livingstone, or Bubble Boy, born without any immunity, who has spent his entire life living in a sterilized dome in his bedroom. The story starts when Bubble Boy falls in love with her neighbor, Chloe, who eventually leaves to get married to her boyfriend, leading Bubble Boy to build himself a bubble suit to go and stop the wedding and confess his love to Chloe, despite his mother's wishes. Danny Trejo plays the lovable role of a biker named Slim, who immediately bonds with Bubble Boy and helps him on his journey. Don't be like me, yes, eh? Don't live in regret. In a hilarious, yet sweet turn of events, we find out that Slim was actually once in love with Bubble Boy's mom and, well, as for Bubble Boy, he gets to learn a secret that changes his life forever. While Gyllenhaal is the star of the show, Trejo is definitely a scene stealer and gets to play the nice guy for once as the sweet, love-struck leader of a friendly motorcycle gang. The film opened at number 13 on the box office at the time of its release, earning over $5 million. Yeah, because that's where my little buddy was headed when you left him in the desert to die! <laughs> number 7, Machete Kills. Just hit on fail. In a true grindhouse flick, Machete Kills features Danny Trejo in the kind of role that he knows best. Based on the Spy Kids character, Machete, a Mexican federale, played by Trejo, the film packs a punch of horror, violence, blood, and gore. The story follows Machete as he tries to take down Vaz, a billionaire arms dealer who has plans to start the next great nuclear war. This world must end in order for a more perfect one to emerge. The film shows Trejo in a Bond-inspired character who sets out to save the country after being recruited by the President of the USA. The film has some over-the-top action sequences and is incredibly fast-paced till the very end. Trejo does a terrific job of playing the unhinged character of Machete. With tons of cameos, the film keeps you entertained all the way to the end, and despite the negative critic reviews, it is considered to be one of Trejo's best performances to date. Why don't you tell them the truth? 
tell them you orchestrated all this. Number six, in the blood. Okay, Derek. Featuring Gina Carano in the lead, In the Blood is the story of a newlywed named Ava who searches for her husband after he is abducted on their honeymoon in the Caribbean. And while Carano definitely is a force to be reckoned with on the screen, Danny Trejo plays the extremely memorable character of a local gangster named Big Biz. And while his time on the screen is short, Trejo manages to show up right at the climax of the film, saving Ava from a sticky situation in true anti-hero style. Give me the knife. Give it to me! Featuring some beautiful tropical locations, fast-paced dialogue, and some of the biggest actors in Hollywood working alongside Carano, In the Blood is one of the most underrated works that Trejo has starred in. You! It's time for you to go home, where you belong. Number 5, The Jaguar. If you're looking for a feel-good film that will take you on an adventure, The Jaguar is a great option, packing tons of mystery and comedic sequences to keep you glued to your screen till the very end of the show. Starring some of Hollywood's biggest legends such as Gene Reno, Patrick Bruhl, and of course, Danny Trejo, the story revolves around two Frenchmen who travel to South America to try and save a local shaman whose soul has apparently been stolen. Trejo plays the role of antagonist Kumare, a ruthless tribe chief and gang leader who is after the shaman's land. Guarano! Trejo is a perfect fit for the role with his strong physique as he ruthlessly uses his machete to chop off people's heads and other body parts. With a strong plot, great direction, and bits of comedy sprinkled here and there, and of course, featuring Trejo in his element, the Jaguar has all the makings of a blockbuster film. <laughs> Number 4, Violet and Daisy. Deeper, baby. Deeper. Oh, gross. One of the more recent films that Trejo has starred in is the 2011 comedy drama Violet and Daisy, starring Saoirse Ronan and Alexis Bledel playing teenage assassins who are in for a surprise when they accept a job that they think will be a piece of cake. Trejo's character in the film complements the energy of the two young girls perfectly. The veteran actor plays the role of Russ, a mentor figure for Violet and Daisy who hands them their jobs. While Trejo appears for a short amount of time in the film, he allegedly earned a paycheck of around $45,500 for his small appearance, which goes to show just how much the actor is worth. Days! Yeah? Happy birthday! Thanks, Russ. If you keep an eye on your partner, you might be around to see your next one. Number 3, Animal Factory. Whoa! Oh, that knife! Go to yourself. I think we'll be all right. Featuring one of the greatest ensemble casts of all time, Animal Factory is a crime drama that stars Edward Furlong as Ron Decker, a young man who is imprisoned for drug possession where he meets seasoned criminal Earl Copen, played by Willem Dafoe, who becomes his mentor and teaches him how to survive his life in prison where it seems as if everyone is out to get him. Earl is a powerful figure at the prison, surrounded by his men, including the strong and hot-headed Vito, played by Trejo, who extended their protection to Ron. Under the influence of all these people, we see Ron transform from a vulnerable young man to a real criminal within the walls of the prison. Not only is Trejo brilliant in his portrayal of Vito, but he has also worked as an executive producer of the film, bringing his real-life experiences as an ex-convict to the screen. You'd have missed us too much anyway, Holmes. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, right? Got that right. Number two, Machete. Shoot him, Nacho. Because right after that, the three of us, I'm gonna shoot the one of you. Reprising his role from the Spy Kids franchise, Danny Trejo stars as the title character in Machete, yet another exploitation action film in his lengthy film career. Machete is Trejo's first ever lead role as the Mexican Federale. The plot of the film revolves around Machete going on a rampage against his ex-boss, the powerful drug lord and former Federale, Rogelio Torres, who murders Machete's wife. In true B-film fashion, Machete is a guilty pleasure for anyone who loves a good dose of gore and violence in their movies. Trejo's performance packs a punch and is equal parts comic and emotion-driven. Featuring other brilliant actors such as Robert De Niro and Jessica Alba in supporting roles, Machete is definitely going down in history as a cult classic. You killed a lot of bad guys together. Now I'm the bad guy. Our number one pick is Grindhouse. You move that a Mexican day laborer is a goddamn federale! Directed by Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez, Grindhouse was more than just a film. It was an iconic moment in the history of Hollywood. Released as a double feature, the film featured Rodriguez's horror comedy, Planet Terror, and Tarantino's slasher, Death Proof. 
The film also featured fake movie trailers that were played in between breaks, making sure that the film was a full experience with two feature-length films, advertisements, and in-theater announcements. The five fake trailer segments were all from different directors and featured filters and effects to make them look dated and old in true B-film fashion. One of the trailers was for the fictional film Machete, based on the fictional Spy Kids character starring Danny Trejo. Machete. The trailer showed Machete to be a former Mexican federale whose favorite weapon is, of course, a machete. This fake trailer later became the basis for the 2010 full-length film Machete and its 2013 sequel Machete Kills, both starring Trejo. With a rating of 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb, along with 10 awards and 22 nominations, Grindhouse is a timeless cinematic masterpiece. Do you agree with our list? Be sure to comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.